So, Gaffer, three-two defeat to Chesterfield. Where do you even start with that one? Oh, it's a frustrating day. Um, but I've got mixed emotions, to be honest. We're I'm certainly proud of the way the players have applied themselves today. I thought they've come. We come here with a good game plan, and half time we, was, we found ourselves two 0 up, and we knew it was going to be a tough second half. They were going to have lots of lots of the ball, and uh, we didn't want to give them a, a leg up. As far as we talked about, if you give them a, an opportunity to get a goal and they score, the place can ignite, and all of a sudden it gives the players the confidence, the energy, and the, and the belief that they can go on and get something out of the game. So, and that's what happened. Exactly what happened. And then we conceded a couple of goals in quick succession, but. Um, yeah, very frustrating day. Um, the players are out on their feet, and we've got to try and pick them up now. Yeah, in the second half, we sat off quite a lot. Was that part of the game plan, or we have no option the way they play? So you know, they're, they're, their wingers play in field, their fullbacks play as wingers, and they're happy to go two v two at, at the top. And uh, and we did that, and that's how we got opportunities in the game. You know, Vinny goes through one v one, and uh, Alfie Lloyd goes through one on one. Their mistakes we made at that end, and then we also made mistakes at the other end as well. And we're, as a collective, we've got to stick together and we've got to, we've got to go again. But it's, um, I think when they're losing here at home with six, eight thousand, whatever is in here today, um, they get behind them. They got to go for it. You know, I think the crowd demand that here, and uh, and they did, and they got back in it with the last kick. Yeah. Do you feel like would it be fair to say that the game management hasn't been up to what it can be from us, as as we've seen earlier in the season? Um, no, I don't think we managed the game as well as we could today. Without um, sometimes, like I say, you've got to, they've got a squad. They're bringing the players they're bringing on off the bench, McCallum and Dallas and and people. That it's going to give you problems. And uh, I think we tried to manage the game as well as we could do, but I just think uh, we got outdone with a little bit of experience today, a bit of movement, and the way they played. But um, we came in and gave them a real good, tough game today. And I'm sure that Paul Cook will be the first one to say that. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a game that we probably deserve something else. Yeah, we drop out the playoffs. What does that mean for our playoff hopes this season? They're not dead, are they? It's, it's, we've got to try and win two games and see what it's not in our hands anymore. But um, what it is, is we've got a home game against Solio and away to Halifax. That are two games that we can win if we're, we're at our best. And uh, we need to try and take um, the next game's the biggest one and the next game after that's the biggest one and see where we go. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the, the way the boys have applied themselves over a general of the season. Um, you know, and we said that when it's frustrating that with the last four or five games we haven't been ourselves. Yeah, um, I'm sure that the players are sort of very downbeat in that dressing room. What have you said to them after the game? Listen, it, it's, it can be a cruel game. It can, and uh, they're great when it when it goes for you. But it's it's the worst feeling in the world when it goes against you. And and at this stage now, we need to stick together, everybody on and off the pitch. Um, need to stick together and, and sort of embrace the situation we've put ourselves in. And, um, you know, and don't feel sorry for, for ourselves and, and dust ourselves down and try and win the next one. That's all we can do, you know. It's, uh, thankfully now the hectic period we've had with four games in eight days is over. So we can get a little bit of rest and uh, the players need that. And, uh, and then we can come back ready to go. Yeah, do we have any injury updates on Alfie Lord and Jerry? Alfie's um, been in the hospital and had an x-ray, waiting for his x-ray to, to get back now before we go and pick him up from the hospital. Um, Danny's had a stamp on his foot and a sore hamstring. Um, and Jerry um, got in a bit of a tussle there and felt his calf go. So, um, yeah, not ideal. But, you know, we had to make forced changes. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of those we've just got to suck it and, uh, and uh, see where we go over the next two games. Yeah, next up, Solly Hole at the Silver Lake. What is, how, how are you feeling about that one? Yeah, I mean, it's... For me, it's it's, uh, it's a game we've got to win, so we've got to go into that with no fear and with with confidence that we'll come in here and give giving these a really good tough game today. And um, we need to we need the crowd to get behind us and, and stick with us and and, uh, and and keep pushing to the end like we are. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers.